Hello everyone, it's Simcraft here and today I'm going to show you how to build the Fun Cub from uh, Multiplex. Um, this is the will be the finished aircraft when it when I finished it, be looking something like that picture there on the box. Okay, let's get started. Now I'm going to give you some uh, tips. Just going away. Right, I'm coming back now. Hello. Right. The first thing I did, and uh, they suggest as well, before you assemble the model, uh, put all the, um, the components out and check that you've got everything. Also, it, uh, it helps you uh, build quicker as well. So if you start with that as a plan, as you can see, I've I've placed all the component components in their in their positions, and they're in the same positions here. Uh, so you've got six of this, or three of that. Uh, that's the far wall. The far wall is in position there. The wheels are in the middle. Uh, you've got the undercarriage there, and the undercarriage bits and pieces. And it's good to have uh, some of these um, little boxes, and you can tip all your contents into those boxes and there was uh, I think there was two plastic uh, there was two or three but um, I've got a couple of boxes for each one for the little components there look little tiny components and I've checked that they're all all the parts are in there you can check them in the thing before you drop them in or drop them in then count them uh, but uh, I've got all the connectors <coughs> now the other thing I did, because it's in different languages, cut out the language that you want. I've got uh, Great Britain, uh, so that's in English, Great British English. And I've cut it down and then I've stapled it, as you can see. So I've got to keep searching through the pages each time. But it simplifies it as well, so it's left with one, two, three pages and a little bit there. And also, you'd have to keep clicking, um, clicking, uh, going through the pages to find the pictures. I've uh, cut that out as well. And you've got one, two, three, four, and that's the finished thing. And that simplifies by doing that, it simplifies it. So once you've done that, laid it out. Make sure you've got all the bits and pieces, uh, which I have. Um, I've numbered uh, one, two, three, four, and I've num numbered one, two, three, four. We've done number one, which was to assemb before assembling the model, put all the p components out, and the building process will be going from left to right, left to right, left to right. You don't go downwards, it gets a bit confusing if you think you've got to go down and then uh, down there. Go left to right and then the next one left to right and number them so you can quickly find number say four there, snakes. Uh, right, so I'm going to just read out uh, what you've got to do first. Right, we've done number one. Okay, the fuselage is number two. It's just connecting the the latch for this, this part here, and you'll find the latches in, in one of these little uh, boxes. Uh, then the second part is to get your servos and put your servos, there's one that goes in there and then the other side is the rudder and elevator, so that's two there. And if you're going to use two or four, it's up to you. Uh, the ailerons, you just one, or if you want the flaps as well, that's the flaps ailerons. You have to cut these down there and there. So you've got four on the wing and uh, a rudder and elevator. So in total, you could have six um, if you use flaps, or four just with ailerons. Um, okay, the next part, just to make sure you've got all the snakes, you've got your are. Snakes are in there, look. When they call it snakes, it means these, these little um, 
not little, they're long but little in uh, diameter. Those are the snakes, and you put you thread the the little metal inside the inside the tubes, and you thread them inside. Also, you've got the reinforcing uh, bars across there as well. Uh, what else was going to say? Okay, so once you've um, you've done the latch first, then you glue the servos. That's the second bit. Then you put in your snakes and cut them to length. Uh, along, along the these the snakes will be going along here. The servo here, uh, get it flush with um, the snake, and the snake goes along that, and that reinforces it as well. Once you've done that, the next part is to put the two bits together and uh, glue. I've got different types of glue. I've got Gorilla, gorilla glue and uh, hot glue. Uh, but you don't want it too hot to melt the foam, it's got to be coolish hot. And then you'll glue that airframe together, it will just interlock. Um, that. Uh, before you do that though, before you glue it together, I could show you this, you've got to put these um, connectors, um, what do they call them? Uh, so you can quickly look at number five, number five, preparing the wing spreader plates. These are the wing spreader plates. They come separate like this, like that, and they're quite difficult to push together. Uh, so you use pliers and they will click in, get some flat nose pliers, and then you can click that there, and then, and that, and there. And that will, though we can hear, actually hear a click as, as uh, it connects in. And then, before putting the two bits together, first of all, if you don't read the things, I was trying to push it this way, in like that, and then think, well, that was not a very good fit. It's uh, not that way, it's that way. So it's not long like that, it is actually more like that and then that slides in and that will be flush where to put uh, your wing bolts uh, into there and then the other side here as well once I've uh, clicked those together that will go there and then glue those in but once you've glued those two in there then you can uh, do a dry run first if I push that in see that that's okay and then glue glue the whole uh, frame together like that. Um, I think that's enough for the first part. I can just read the first page anyway. Um, what we got here, number seven. Number seven, preparing, number seven is preparing the elevator um, push rod connectors. That's number seven. And then number eight, quickly, is attach the tail plane, which is that there, will connect at the back. That will connect, and uh, then you do the, and then I'll go on to the fin and tail plane unit as well, which is all in in there, in one of these little containers. Okay, that's it.